so this is the So Cute Needle Point. This comes in the Ocean Animals box for August. If you have a different one, Needle Point is Needle Point. It's, it doesn't matter if you have a different picture, it's going to work out the same. So don't worry about that. This particular kit comes with a frame, you can put that aside, and then it comes with all kinds of yarn. It comes with more than that, but that's some of the yarn. So what you're going to want to do is pick out whatever color you're going to start with first. The great thing about Needlepoint is that your pattern and usually the colors are right on your canvas. So we know that this is going to be this dark blue color. The Norwal is going to be this lighter blue color. The, the little um, unicorn thing is going to be all different colors and we've got yellow and pink and green and, and a darker pink for there. So everything is all laid out for you. You know exactly what you're doing. So all we really need to, to go over are the stitches. So you get a needle, you pick the color that you're going to work with. It's best probably to start at one corner and go this way instead of working on the animal or the whatever's in your picture first but that's totally up to you. It doesn't have to be, but I'm going to start just with the background. So I'm going to thread my needle. What I found is one of the easiest ways to thread the needle is to just kind of fold, fold it over so that you've got like a, a hoop here and then bring your two fingers together and pull it off, but squeeze it real tight. And then you can just kind of push it through and you've got a needle. I mean, you've got, <laughs> and then you've got your needle threaded. So, so for this one, normally I'm going to start with this background and I would normally work with this dark blue yarn because it matches just as, as I'm showing you, I am going to work with some yellow so that you can actually see the stitches. So the first thing we're going to do is when you make your needle point stitches, you're just going to go diagonally and you want all of your stitches to face the same way. So I'm going to start up here at this top corner on the right, which is what the directions say to do. And you're going to come up from the back. Do not go all the way through, leave a little tail of your yarn and then just kind of hold it there because we're going to come back to that. So in the front again, you want to make your stitches go diagonally. So we're going to go down. We're going to cross over diagonally and put the needle down and make a stitch. So now you've got a diagonal stitch. And then the next place we're going to come up would be right here so that we can make another diagonal stitch. But before you do that, for the first few stitches, you want to make sure that your stitch in the back, this is the hole that we're going to come in, you want to make sure that your yarn goes over that, not under that or not. You don't want to let that go and, and stitch. You want to make sure that this is held in place and your yarn goes over that stitch so that it holds your tail in place. And you want to do that all the way, the whole length of the tail. And that way you won't have to make a knot. Your tail will just be secure underneath those stitches. So now that we're back up, in the front, we're going to go diagonally down again so that you have two stitches diagonal. Now the next stitch is going to come up from the back again here. And remember, we're going over that tail, so make sure that you've got the tail in place and you've locked in that stitch. Okay, and then you're going to go diagonally again and back up down. So these are your stitches and I'm still holding that tail. I've got a couple more stitches to finish with that tail. And I can see the tail because my yarn is yellow so I can see it pretty good this way. So once you get to the end of the tail, you just finish that last stitch and then you don't have to hold it anymore 
and you can kind of relax you can hold your canvas wherever you want to and just continue along with these stitches to that spot you would not be able to make your other stitch the other half of your stitch it would only be a half stitch so we're just leave it blank and it's totally fine so the next row instead of coming up on the top and down on the bottom row we're going to just go right underneath here and that's going to become your bottom row so you're going to come up the bottom row and you're going to go diagonally up and down the top row and the top of your stitch is actually going to be in the same hole as the bottom of your top row stitch. And that's exactly where you want it to be. So you're going to come up and go down and you're going to make your diagonal stitches. The way that you know that you're doing this right is if your diagonal stitches are the same way. If you have weird looking stitches or they're up and down or they're going the wrong way, then you're doing it wrong and you need to back it up and see what you've done or why. So when you get to a color, a different color than what you're working on, I'm going to just finish this last stitch here because we're pretending that this is blue. So I'm working on the dark blue and I've come down. You're always going to end on the bottom coming down the bottom where your thread is through the bottom of the fabric and then you can see here that this is a different color blue this is a lighter blue so we don't want to go over that because that's going to be colored in with the lighter blue color it's actually this color here is kind of a aqua color but that's what's going to go there so we don't want to go over that with our dark blue or yellow in this case so there's two different ways that you can do this. If it's just a couple of stitches, like this one is a very small bubble, then you can just, with your yarn on the bottom, you can just skip over those two stitches there that should be the aqua, and then come up and go down. And then just continue your stitching across the top, just like that. But now if you have something larger, like say we are stitching right around here, and then you've got to skip this entire piece of the Norwal, you're not going to want to leave a string hanging all through the Norwal because there's a chance you can see it or it'll get in your way when you're stitching. You don't want to do that. So what you would do, we can pretend that this, this bubble here starts a big piece. And what we would do is just start your next row so you're going to go underneath and you're going to you alternate as you do your row so the the first row we did we came up from the top down through the bottom second row we came up through the bottom down through the top so now this one we're going to come up through the top down through the bottom and then you would just go over and start your row backwards just like that. So you want all your stitches, even the different colors, to be the same way so that it looks nice and uniform throughout your um, pattern. And if you need to change colors, you can do that. The way that we end is you're going to turn it around to the back. And remember how we started where the tail was kind of weaved through these stitches? That's how you're going to end a color. So what you would do is here's where I'm ending but I want to find where there's a few stitches so up here on the top row I can see that there's three stitches here that I can just weave my needle through and weave this 
piece of yarn through. And I'm just going to do that twice to make it nice and sturdy. You don't have to pull too tight because if you pull too tight, the stitches on the front are going to become really thin and you don't want to do that. You can kind of pull them out with a needle if you need to. Make them look nice and normal, but don't pull too tight. And then you just cut off your string. And there you have it. You just fix these stitches a little bit. You can just, you can pull them and they will, they will change. So again, this one looks a little strange because I've used yellow where it's supposed to be blue, just so that you can see the stitches. But that's how you would do your needlepoint.